Okay, so today I'm going to go over a new Python library that is called Pandas UI. And the developer of Pandas UI contacted me and asked whether I could review this library. Okay, so here goes a quick review of this Python library. Okay, so this is the Medium article of Pandas UI written by the developer, and his name is Arun. And here he wrote that the Python library Pandas UI is a user interface tool for Pandas, and it provides easy and fast data manipulation. And if you click on this link, you will be taken to the GitHub page of Pandas UI library. So let's have a look further on this Medium article and the link to this article will be provided in the description of this video. Okay, so under the hood, Pandas UI is employing the power of great Python libraries, including Pandas, NumPy, Plotly, IPy widgets, Pandas profiling, QGrid, and it integrates it and presents it in an efficient way for the user to access. So Pandas UI will allow you to wrangle and explore your data, as well as creating custom visualization without digging through Stack Overflow. And Pandas UI will allow you to work right inside Jupyter Notebook book or Jupyter Lab. So of particular note here, Pandas UI will automatically perform the specified operation on the Pandas data frame and then it will generate the corresponding Python code simultaneously. So who is this tool for? It is geared toward Python and Pandas beginners. But it can also be used by both advanced users as well. And the advantage of this library is that it will help to reduce the time for data pre-processing. And so in this block of codes here, they are the instructions on how you can install Pandas UI. And so let's have a look at some of the features in this video provided by the author. So here we can see that we can replace the missing value directly right inside here by clicking on it and you could select the particular row that you want and then remove rows or add rows to your own liking and as you can see you could simply import the library and then invoke the pandas ui function followed by the name of the csv file and here you can see that you could replace the missing value directly you click on a particular row that you want. You could remove the row if you like. And then you click there for option and then you could add row or remove row. And as you can see, the example data set that they use here is the titanic.csv. So using the code is rather simple. You just import the library and then you use the pandas UI function and that's all. All right, so let's have a look here. So you could generate statistical report, which is powered by the pandas profiling report. So this is exactly pandas profiling. And you could perform very quick exploratory data analysis here. You just click on the pandas profiling tab. Okay, so as mentioned previously, you just import the library and then you use the pandas UI function and inside as the argument you will put in the name of the CSV data right here and then you could access the exploratory data analysis via the pandas profiling by just clicking on the tab and here they say that you could access to several pandas operations by just clicking on it so you could just set conditions and then the threshold, etc. And here you could explore pandas columns and perform various operations. So you could look at the table, you could look at the different visualization, you could even adjust the number of bins in the histogram plot. And here you could sort the data, you could even rename the column name, right? The passenger ID column name. Select it. Show the table. The table is shown here and along with the histogram plot. And then the number of bins could be adjusted like from 5 to 50 as shown. And then you could sort the data. You go back and then you could rename the column name from passenger ID to become passenger. Okay, let's have a look further. And it is said here that the most powerful functionality of Pandas UI 
is the history function, which allow you to reverse redo your action on Python pandas code that are generated. And you could also save the code for later use. It means that whenever you click on the various function of this pandas UI, it will generate the corresponding code as you can see. So click on history and then you will see all of the Python code that you have clicked on. So the pandas UI will record all of the point and click and then it will convert that into the corresponding Python pandas code. And so you could access that by clicking on history and then you could copy the Python code for future usage. And here it says that you could create powerful visual presentation with no effort and the code can be copied for later use. So let's have a look here. So this is a pretty nice visualization. So here you could select many different types of data visualization and this is the box plot, scatter plot, and there are several other more. And then you could customize everything there, okay? All right, and here they say that there is an interactive 3D plot. Okay, really neat. All right, so let's have a look further. Okay, so let's have a recap, a summary of the major characteristic and benefits of Pandas UI. And so here it says that it will reduce 90% of your coding time. And so you could focus more on what you want to do instead of having to dig through Stack Overflow. And you could have access to complicated Python code in just a few mouse clicks. Another benefit here is that it is easy to use and it has minimal learning curve. So as we can see in the animation above, using Pandas UI seems very straightforward. And so if you have a chance to play around with this library, then I think you could understand how it works and make use of it in your data science project. So here it says that it has been 100% compatible and flexible to work with Jupyter Notebook. And the great thing about this is that it allows you to privately and securely work on data in a local computer. So nothing to upload onto the cloud if you choose to use your own local computer to perform the analysis using Pandas UI. Okay, and so thanks Arun for suggesting this wonderful Python library for me to review on this channel. And Arun is working as a full-time machine learning practitioner in Chennai, India. And if you have any question, please direct your question to him. Okay, so I will provide the link to this Medium article and the GitHub page as well. And if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.